Thanks for joining us today at HXGN TV. I'm your host, Neville Judd, and today we're discussing new ways for the visualization industry to interact with complex data. Joining me to my right are um, Runa Felvang, who is CEO of uh, MyVR Software, and he's also uh, executive manager of visualization at uh, Hexagon. And on my far right, is Reagan Wynn, who is Director of Marketing and Communications with Daiquiri. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining us today. Happy to be here. Thank you. Arun, if I can start with you. Um, Hexagon is exploring this array of uh, virtual reality and augmented reality technologies to help industries uh, explore new ways to make sense of their data. But let's first start with just describing AR and VR in this context. Can you give me an overview? Um, yeah, it's quite simple. Um, AR is when you superimpose data, all your data, with the real world. While VR is so the virtual reality is where you got the f screen in front of you and you only see that screen. Um, you, in some scenarios, you even though feed live video from the world around you into that, but you don't have a as Reagan well posted it. You don't have a foot in the real world, right. so um, that's the difference. So tell me about this relationship between Hexagon and Daiquiri. Um, we've been uh, working together now for a bit more than half a year uh, in the early access programs, uh, helping uh, to drive both the development of the technology to see how that can work together. But also we are looking at, with their help, to see how we can get more out of our customers' data to, right. and change their procedures and the way they work that so we can increase health and safety scenarios uh, improve different kinds of work uh, situations. What we find most interesting with Dacri is that they are actually a proper field-oriented device. Right. It's, um, it's not something for the office or, or for gaming, it's for work. Yeah. And Hexagon's world is work. Right. Now, Reagan, I've looked at the website and I've seen some amazing instruments, um, the, the, the helmet, the laptop, the, the tablet. Um, to, to some people, it might look like science fiction, but this is really solving some real problems. Can you tell me a little bit about what Daiquiri is doing? Sure. Um, Daiquiri is focused on augmented reality. Um, we are based in Los Angeles, so right up the road. Um, but uh, we are an international office, so we're working with companies all over the world to to solve really complex problems, specifically, as you mentioned, in the work uh, in the work environment. And what's really interesting is um, it's not just the hardware we're working on; it's working with. Uh, the underlying software that unites all of these different devices together, and then working with strategic partners like Hexagon to, to really bring in all of the, the visualization that they're using, um, those design tools and, and of their sensor equipment to bring in all of that information so that the worker has relevant information where they need it, when they need it. And what are some of the real world applications that, that, that where this is being used? Um, well, we see a, a variety of different uh, applications. The, the most immediate are uh, reducing error, so giving a worker instructions so that they can move through a series of, uh, of steps that uh, they may not be familiar with or they haven't done in quite some time. Um, there's a real big chance there for errors to occur if, if the worker is just unfamiliar with the system or, or is just a little rusty, if you will. Um, the helmet will guide them very clearly through each step and make sure that they do the step correctly and in the right order. Um, the next step is uh, an aging workforce and a younger workforce. We're finding there's this, what we call, information gap between the, uh, the experts who have been doing it for quite some time and the new workers who are hungry but, but lack that experience. We can connect those two together and put them into the field. Um, giving that experience to someone who is centralized and an expert out to the to workers who are, who are beginning their steps. And then the third one is uh, increased safety. We have a, several features in the helmet that allow a worker to move through the environment both uh, with the features on or even in a passive state so that they may pass something that's hot or dangerous and they'll get that information uh, whether they're actively looking for it or not. And it can warn them when something's about to fail because it's getting very hot or when an area is a, a performing above a certain threshold, they can preemptively stop that. So those are kind of the three big areas where we see the helmet immediately having impact. Right. So Runa, Hexagon is obviously present in, in many industries. Where do you see this kind of technology being applied? The, uh, the Hexagon customers have a huge amount of data. And in many scenarios, they, we have a challenge of getting the right data available at the right time, and especially in field scenarios. And 
making the workers that's out there more informed um, gives us a huge advantage. Um, and especially, as Reagan mentioned, on safety error handling, but also on collecting and documenting what's going on at, at the moment is very important for us. Right. Um, we're also looking into when the intrinsically safe devices comes out, that's going to be a game changer because that will be the first time we actually have access in the uh, oil and gas industry and, and the processing industry that we actually can take devices like these with us out in the field and access all the information. Right now, we actually have to shut down the rig if you're going to do all the stuff. Uh, right. Shutting down an oil rig or a chemical processing plant, that is expensive. And if we can do some of these kind of things and move quicker in and do repairs or, or just to get updates or, or monitor what's going on, because being there and seeing it with your own eyes is something completely different than just watching the mon I'll say a, a set of um, sensors on the monitor. So an intrinsically safe device, what does that look like? It should look like the, I guess the question is <laughs> I think it looks like Daiquiri Smart Helmet. Uh, no, I, it, uh, it is, uh, we did de devise it uh, and design it with, um, with those industrial environments in mind. Okay. Um, there's a lot of AR devices out there that are made more with a consumer focus, uh, more of a design, design aesthetic. We took the existing thing that the worker is already wearing, a hard hat and yeah. safety glasses, and we used that form factor to help design the helmet. It's, it's that, it makes that a lot more seamless for the, for the worker because they're already wearing these things. Um, and then it's also providing not only information, but safety. Um, it also works as a, um, as a information gathering tool as well. We, you kind of briefly touched on it, that, that this workforce who is working in remote areas where things are offline or, or they're not uh, integrated with the rest of the systems, these, these workers can get out there with the helmets, bring those systems online, or uh, work together as a team sharing information between each other. So they're not only getting the information, they're also gathering the information. And what sort of feedback are you getting from the customers that are using this technology? Um, when can they have more of them? Yeah. That, that so far has been the been the big the big uh, the big ask. Um, we are in. Um, we have several key players, uh, Hexagon being one of them, that that are using the helmet today, and it's uh, very exciting the feedback we're getting and. I, the biggest challenge isn't number of units or, or price point or any of that, it's the change management. It's how do we roll this, this new technology out through our workforce because they're ready for it, management's ready for it, we're ready to do it, it's just a matter of figuring out the how of it. Right. Mm -hmm. And Runa, presumably there's, there's a demand from Hexagon customers for this kind, of, uh, this kind of technology that you've been hearing. Yeah, we see uh, also quite a lot of the demand, especially from the PPNM process plant and uh, marine industry, from the mining industry, construction industry. Uh, so you know, it's like all the key areas where Hexagon is present. So we have a number of customers that are waiting with, when we can get out with proper solutions that actually give them real access to the data and con that they can also collect and document what's going on while increasing the safety of the personnel out there in the field. And what is the timeline, do you think, for actually getting these, uh, this solution to market? Um, Not to put you on the spot mm, or anything. No. <laughs> <laughs> at, 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 the, at the moment, we are all testing and trying out. There's a lot of work ahead of us to make it so that it's really, I'll say, something that you, you will find within all the factories right. uh, and the solutions, because there are also, also elements on, on processing power, we've got network bandwidth, we need to be smart in the way we handle data to send them forward and backwards. Um, so my also rough guesstimate mm -hmm. is that you'll start seeing uh, solutions being adopted during next year. Right. But we are in the process of working with customers to develop the work procedures, as you also mentioned, mm -hmm. because that takes time. It's not just picking up a new smartphone and plugging that in and, and converting your data, this is a lot more involved because you're actually changing procedures. Mm -hmm. And it's about finding out the best way of doing that so we actually increase and find the right values for our customers. Right. Yeah, there are certain things that can happen right out of the box. Um, that remote expert scenario where we're connecting workers to, to that, that workforce, that can happen fairly quickly. But as you mentioned, some of these are very specific to each of the customers and they need to take the time to you know, experience the helmet, figure out what it is that's going to give them the best value and then design a plan around that that um, allows that to be rolled out through that workforce. Right. 
the, the, there is also another aspect because when we're going out using these as field devices, we also need to start thinking about the whole process because how do you actually want to interact? Yeah. You've got you know, say other devices for in the office environment that you want to use and, and have that connected with the field devices. And so you actually get the two or you know, say three way communication going on. And that is also some of the things that we at Hexagon are looking deeply into so to see how we can connect all the different systems and have them related directly to the customer's data. Right. Regan, tell me where this technology leads us. What, what are the problems still out there waiting to be solved that this could be applied to? Well, I think um, we, we look that we can try to solve as many problems as, uh, as we face. That we feel like the helmet is a, a real game changer when it comes to how a workforce is, is identified and, and what work means. And what I mean by that is if you can put on the helmet and do one job on day one and then put it on the next day and do something completely different, your workforce is now completely uh, flexible and, and can really focus on what they need to do and you as a manager can assign them where you need them. Um, but then that opens up a whole new realm of possibilities because what if it's not in your own vertical? You could then move from industry to industry or, or, um, or completely outside of your industry. Uh, we like to say, imagine one day you're building a, a skyscraper and the next day you're doing surgery because <laughs> I like to get a little ambitious, but I mean, um, it's, those kind of, it's those kind of things that like you could put on a helmet and know anything. What, what possibilities then lay before us if you're able to do that? Now, if we want to dial it down to the next you know, year or two, I think you really can't see a, a modal workforce that can put on the helmet, do something, do one task in oil and gas, and then literally the next day do something in a completely different facility on another side of the state or another side of the country. Um, that in itself is enough of a flexibility that your workforce becomes highly more productive. Right. And Runa, two to five years from now, um, where do you see augmented reality in this professional space? Smaller devices, mm -hmm. more powerful, more access to information. Um, bandwidth will still be an issue. Uh, we probably have sold a lot of the stuff when it comes to um, what positioning of, of the devices. At the moment, some of the challenges you find in some area is that how accurate can you get the device to be positioned? Uh, Hexagon is doing a lot of that work uh, as well. But down the road, I think we're ending up with augmented reality or mixed reality or virtual reality or all the different abbreviations that you have to be a more common thing. You are expecting that this, I need these kind of tools right. to work. So long term, information straight in your face when you need it. Exciting times ahead. Mm -hmm. Gentlemen, thanks very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. So we'd like to thank our guests, uh, Runa and Reagan, for uh, joining us today. Uh, for more about visualization solutions, visit hexagon.com. And to watch more episodes on HXGN TV, visit hxgntv.com. Thanks for watching.